You know, food insecurity in the COVID era affects as many people as one in four New Yorkers. So just think about that number right there, 25%, right? The growing food crisis prompted the city to appoint a food czar to make sure no one goes hungry. Even that's not enough, though. Local organizations like City Meals on Wheels, they are expanding their services since the start of the pandemic, and they have delivered more than a million meals to elderly New Yorkers in need. So let's talk to Beth Shapiro. She's the executive director of City Meals on Wheels. Beth, thanks for being with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about City Meals on Wheels. We see your workers behind you. You said you've had to double the staff because of the need. Tell us what they are packing and what they are providing and how big this need is. Sure, they are packing shelf-stable meals, meals that can sit in the cupboard for a few days. They're doing boxes of those. We've seen a 26% increase in just the last few months. Last year, typical year, we delivered 2 million meals. And we've done 26% of that in the fiscal year that just ended. Over a million emergency meals wow. will be delivered by the end of December this year. That is a, a huge staggering impact. number. Yeah, and especially for you to have to be able to fulfill that need. City Meals usually provides what meals for homebound seniors across the five boroughs, but the population that you serve has really gotten a lot bigger over the last five months. Talk to us about the expansion and, and, and how you're having to help people in other scenarios as well. As you said, City Meals typically delivers to about 18,000 homebound elderly New Yorkers. With the COVID pandemic, that number's increased to about 34,000 older New Yorkers. And these are people who would normally be going into senior centers for their meals, maybe breakfast, maybe lunch, who now with centers closed can't go in and of course are the most vulnerable anyway that really shouldn't be outside, shouldn't be going to their grocery stores even if they could. Because they are the most vulnerable, are you taking extra precautions to make sure what you provide is safe for them to touch and handle and eat? Absolutely. We always will, um, provide a nutritionally balanced meal. But on top of that, as you'll see, you know, everyone's wearing masks and gloves behind me. And the same with the delivery. The delivery is critical that it's always a meal and a visit, which of course becomes much more difficult now. But Deliverers are wearing masks, they're wearing gloves, there's a knock on the door and a small conversation even through the door just to check in, mm. make sure this person says okay every day um, while keeping a safe distance and, you know, leaving the, the meal on the door handle versus going in and having that face to face contact. You know, I want to touch on that for just a moment because I think it's very important. It's one thing to provide meals, which is essential, right? But we're talking about el elderly folks who don't get a lot of contact. They can't see their family members because of the social distance. How important is it just to see that friendly face, to know that someone cares and wants to provide them a meal? It's really critical. We know that over 8% of our regular meal recipients have no one to talk to in a given day other than their meal deliverer. And with the pandemic, as you're saying, people who even had connectivity before don't have that. So it's really um, a check-in, a lifeline, a making sure they're okay and safe. And also just to say hello and, and right. exactly what you said, someone cares and we're bringing you this meal and looking out for you. It can make a huge difference indeed. Okay, so City Mills launched this summer supper series. Tell us about that and how we can actually help you. Sure. We launched the Summer Supper Series with our board co-president, Danielle Balud, a, a couple of months ago. Like so many other nonprofits, we had to cancel all our spring and summer fundraising. So we went virtual and we've had just an incredible variety of chefs across the city supporting us doing a one-on-one -on -one cooking demonstration. It feels one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because you're on Zoom, yeah. so you can ask questions while they're cooking. And we've had half a dozen or so, Charlie Palmer, uh, this weekend, we're headed to the south uh, with Morgan's Barbecue in Brooklyn, and then we're ending the series in two weeks. Uh, Danielle's coming back to host Pierre Tem, who's taking us to Senegal with nice. his cuisine. And it, it's super simple. It's a $25 donation, mm -hmm. citymeals.org. And these donations, like every other one since our founding, anything from the general public, 100% goes to meal delivery. That's so you know where, know where your money is going. Absolutely. And it's a very good cause and it's crucial at this time. Beth Shapiro, thank you for the good work that you're doing. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.